A Russian court has sentenced the jailed opposition leader Alexei Navalny to nine years in maximum security prison for what prosecutors called embezzlement. And in the last hour, it's been reported that two of his lawyers who intended to appeal the court's decision have been arrested, though it's thought they were later released. Mr Navalny leads an anti-corruption foundation that claims President Putin has illegally acquired a fortune worth billions of dollars, including a huge palace and one of the world's largest yachts. Well, our Moscow correspondent Caroline Davies reports now that the leading Kremlin critic's nine-year sentence is in extension to the two-and-a-half-year prison term he's already serving. This was Alexei Navalny's last moment as a free man. Arrested at the airport as he arrived back in Russia in 2021. With a kiss to his wife, he was taken by the Russian authorities. The Kremlin critic is already behind bars. Wearing black prison uniform, he heard today's verdict from his jail. Guilty of embezzlement and nine years in a maximum security penal colony. These were the anti-corruption protests Mr Navalny led. The man who'd been one of President Putin's fiercest critics has always maintained the legal case against him was political, as have many in the West. In 2020, he was poisoned using Novichok and left for treatment in Germany. He chose to return to Russia. Now many of his allies have left the country, afraid of what might happen if they stay. More media sites are banned day by day here in Russia. Meta, the company that owns Facebook and Instagram, has been declared an extremist organisation and both sites have been blocked. And the introduction of a new law that means that anything deemed to be false information about the military can result in jail time has led to many independent journalists leaving the country. The window that many Russians have on the outside world is virtually closed. The laws in Russia they were strict and draconian before the war, and they became even worse after the war. The worst... Farida Rostamova is an independent Russian journalist. She was out of the country when Russia launched its special military operation and chose never to return. She's too afraid to say where she's now based. So I'm afraid of, of physical assault. I'm afraid of going to jail for words. Uh, the only thing that is allowed is propaganda. I'm, I'm absolutely sure that, that this is just the beginning and things are going to get worse. Daring to disagree is increasingly dangerous in Russia. With each protest, the crowds shrink. With each week, there are fewer journalists to cover them and anything that contradicts the Kremlin. President Putin's regime knows that fear can breed silence. Caroline Davis, BBC News, Moscow.